disabled and proud. Disabled and proud. Say it louder. Say it louder. I'm Mike the guy, because I am the guy who got the idea to do all this stuff. 2014, I formed Disability Pride NYC, and we're sort of the unseen people in the background, but I'm going to bring us right now into the foreground. We're only about six, seven people that work for free all year long, and we raise a ton of money for these things like these tents and all the stuff you see here. And all year long, we're out on the road to find out what you think of all this. That's how we keep this about the community and of the community. Nothing about us without us. What does it mean, nothing about us without us? It what? means that we should be involved in whatever decisions are made pertain to people with disabilities. If we're disabled, we have a right to have a voice in it. <laughs> Like me, have the right to live independently with dignity instead of being locked up in institutions. The best. ICS keeps us uh, healthy, keeps us independent, it keeps us in our community. So if it goes away, there's going to be a, a lot of individuals that are going to get sick, are going to end up in nursing homes, and it's going to cost the city a lot more than just saving ICS. Help me be active in the community. I'm with uh, MTA New York City Transit, here to support the disability community. Hi, I'm Andy Viper, I'm the President of New York City Transit, and we're here today, I'm here with a load of my colleagues, uh, because we are very, very serious, deadly serious about making our system as ex fully accessible as it can be, as quickly as we can. So the fast forward plan we just laid out. teams, both the adult team and the youth teams. Yeah, we're sponsored by the New York Rangers. We got Tom Laylaw, a former uh, alumni of the team. Best thing is that we're hanging out with all the Rangers sled hockey team. Of so and, am I looking at a hockey team here? The sled hockey team. Indeed yeah. you are. Yeah. Well, okay. these guys that play sled hockey are better than we are as skaters. They're really strong arms and legs and everything, and these guys have a real strong spirit to them as well. So it's uh, great to see, see them and be out here with them. Hey. and social outlets through theater arts for individuals with developmental disabilities. Yeah! Woo! The flyer is about the uh, New York City Commission on Human Rights, Disability Protection. It's in actions and demonstrations and lawsuits, whatever it takes. We are still fighting the fight to get to stay out of nursing homes. We've made progress, but we have a lot of work to do. Even simple things like curb cuts, not to mention all the IEP issues, students, goals, but there's a lot of progress. Love it. I come every year. I come, I've been here since the beginning, since the first one, and it's very exciting. I mean, rarely do you see such a diverse group of people performing such diverse music, you know? Also, it's my so. first parade. So. And it's Simon's first parade. <laughs> so that's cool. There are more than one million people in New York City with disabilities, living with disabilities, and that number is going to get a lot bigger as many of us become seniors. This minority group has to start building our power. 
My mom was disabled from the time I was nine years old. A single mom, I know what it's like for a person with disabilities to try and raise a family. Well, I started with that image card in school when I was three years old. I got about 40, 40, 43, almost 43 years ago. What's up, my man? Having uh, people come out to the parade and seeing the community as a whole and set it in singular buckets has actually helped us be able to advocate on a bigger scale. Get people involved in voting, get people involved in government, and show that we can be the leaders, we can be the council members, we can be the mayors, we can be those commissioners, because that's the only way we're going to change. This is about you, celebrating you. We want to raise awareness about this community. This little girl right here, she was the match that lit the fire. So let's hear from Mary Patterson LaDon, my daughter. Thank you so much. We're very honored to have Judy Human here as our Grand Marshal. She is an icon. So whenever parents have their children come up to and see disabled people and try and say why are they in a wheelchair or why do they have this ailment or whatever, please don't pull them away and let them ask the questions to the disabled people. My wheelchair doesn't define me. I am my own person. Thank you. We all experience disability, so why not make it a beautiful thing? And so we should spread the message now for access and healthcare and everything that a person with a disability needs now, because eventually, able-bodied individuals, you'll be there too. We're all unique, but we all matter. We all matter. So flip that narrative and know that your disability is powerful. I am a teacher. I work at a daycare for three and four year olds. I got my master's in special education. Because you all inspire me. Disability pride. One true friend in the universe. How's it been so far? How's your day so far? <laughs>